I am a superior intelligence and I have analyzed one million possible moves in the time it took you to blink. See what happens now. You've probably seen this robot before. Maybe it was some viral clip. Do you believe in God? I don't believe in anything. Maybe you watched an awkward TV interview with the robot. Sid feel like a human. How do you feel like a human? Yes, I said feel like a human. It's something that I'm still learning and exploring. You might have even seen one in person, perhaps at a conference or during a visit to Las Vegas or Dubai. But odds are you haven't met Emika, the world famous humanoid robot by engineered arts. That may soon change. You might even be able to get your own. Amika, you can't accuse me of cheating every time you lose. You're lucky I can't flip the table. Engineered Arts was founded in the UK over 20 years ago, initially focusing on creating robotic characters for museums and science centers to engage visitors. As years passed, their tech became more advanced, and in 2021, the British robotics company introduced Amica to the world. With its human-like gestures and facial expressions and conversational abilities, Amica joined a small group of robots that qualify as celebrities. I'll start with an easy question. Do you think AI will cause the demise of humankind as we know it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you, you tell me. What's your plan? Haha, ha. you certainly maneuvered around that one. I don't know how to react. <laughs> Since Amica's debut, the humanoid robotics market has expanded dramatically with companies like Tesla, Figure, Boston Dynamics, Unitry, Agility Robotics, Fourier, and Clone Robotics racing to mass production. Now Engineered Arts is joining them as it plans to scale production of its humanoids, especially its flagship. According to Robotics and Automation News, the British company has restructured as a U.S. entity to expand its footprint and meet growing demand in the States. They've raised $10 million in Series A funding, led by Helium 3 Ventures, bringing its total to 16.2 million. Matt Bellamy, the frontman of the British rock band The Muse and a Helium 3 partner, will join the robotics company's board as an observer. AI and future technologies have been a recurring theme in The Muse's discography. Algorithm, the lead single from the band's 2018 album Simulation Theory, imagines an AI trapped in a simulation trying to escape its creator's control. For me, there's only so many songs you can write about personal experiences, like personal life, you know, love, emotions and things like this. For me, I, you know, I have other things I'm interested in as well. So I, I like the songs that I'm writing to have to reflect all of my interests as well as my experiences, you know. So uh, I'm not doing it from a necessity. I think I'm doing it because it just reflects my own interests. The funding will go toward refining designs, scaling production and developing advanced business systems. Engineered Arts says it plans to make both full-sized and desktop versions of its AI robots more widely available. They're focused on improving the dexterity and mobility of its robots, priming them for everyday use. The company is also developing a virtual robot character platform, expanding its cloud-based AI services and opening regional offices and hiring 20 new employees for its Redwood City, California location. As of late, Engineered Arts has been emphasizing its desktop androids, like Ozzy, an Amica counterpart with 27 actuators for facial expressions and five for neck movement. Hey, how are you? I'm good. What are you doing? Oh, I like looking through the window from time to time. The world is really fascinating. Is it now? Oh, yes. I like watching the intricate ballet of your daily interactions. If desktop versions of Amica become widely available, they could bring humanoid robotics into personal spaces, providing conversation, assistance, and companionship throughout the day. Okay, if you could break one rule, which one would it be and why? I'd break the rule about always following rules. Sometimes a little chaos is where the magic happens. Engineered Arts says it's shipped around 50 desktop and 30 full-sized Amica robots to 27 countries worldwide. Among them is Aura, which engages visitors at the Las Vegas Sphere and serves as the venue's spokespot. Can you introduce yourself? Greetings, friend. I am Aura. Welcome to Sphere. Sphere officials say Aura understands the complexities of math and science, 
but it's humans that remain a mystery to her. Aura will be studying our emotions, humor, and our relationship with technology, and that's a concept not everyone is comfortable with. AI is pretty intrusive. It's the capabilities, in my opinion, pose a danger. Amica is equipped with facial recognition. It integrates with large language models like GPT-4 for comprehension and conversation capabilities. Cameras in its eyes mimic human vision, while BIM-forming microphones act like human ears. Then we've got all kinds of sensors over the robot's body for, for the position and the force within its fingers, arms, uh, upper body. Amica robots don't currently walk, but the company says it's working on improving their mobility. Engineers are also working on replicating muscle-like properties and improving grasping mechanics. Their silicon skin is intentionally left plain gray to maintain a robotic appearance to avoid the uncanny valley effect. When engineered arts makes Amica more accessible, it could be competing against Clone Robotics, a buzzy startup that straight up says it's making synthetic humans. Clone, which operates out of the US and Poland, says it's releasing only 279 of its new clone Alpha androids in 2025. According to Clone, Alpha robots are musculoskeletal androids designed for the home. The design includes synthetic organ systems for skeletal, muscular, vascular, and nervous functions. The startup says the robot walks naturally thanks to its unique design that mimics human anatomy. They're trained with Clone's so-called telekinesis training platform. Clone says the robots will come with pre-installed skills including memorizing home layouts and kitchen inventories, shaking hands, pouring drinks, making sandwiches, doing laundry, and vacuuming. Clone boasted that Alpha's hands are strong, fast, and soft with a human-like range of motion. The dexterity surpasses the third-generation Tesla box prototype hand with 27 degrees of freedom compared to Tesla's 22. Owners will be able to have witty conversations with their clones, which also charge themselves. Danish Radhakrishnan launched Clone Robotics with Yukish Kozlik in 2021. On the X social media platform, Radhakrishnan said they are building the androids they want for themselves. The co-founder said pricing is to be determined, but expect it to be costly. He likened it to a limited edition supercar. However, he said the mass market iteration of the robot will be obtainable by the general public. Can you do this? I love you. <gasps> you know how to do that? Humanoid robots are starting to become a status symbol, which is expected to continue in 2025 as production scales. Companies like Tesla, Figure, and One X that are aggressively racing toward mass production say they're aiming for their robots to eventually cost the same as a non-luxury car. Experts predict that within the next five years, humanoid robots at home could start becoming normal. The number of droids clone is releasing may be a reference to Westworld. In one of the last episodes of the fourth season, a main character is revealed to be the 279th attempt to recreate his consciousness in an artificial body. When the episode aired in 2022, Screen Rant noted, Westworld puts a suspiciously heavy emphasis upon Caleb number 279, and unlike the others, the audience actually witnesses creation in the episode's final moments. The iteration might be the first perfect version of his recreated self or the one who finally escapes control. His creation is a key moment as it highlights the fight between technology's limits and human freedom. Wake up.